Hey guys, Rambo here with a new video, where I'll be sharing with you what may be the fastest way to rank up on Black Ops Cold War, with your levels on this game being tied to Call of Duty Vanguard and also Warzone 1.0, which is set to join Cold War's league play in the nine circles of hell once they discontinue it this upcoming September. Now, a big disclaimer before we begin with this video. This XP strategy will not work for all accounts. There are two conditions you need to meet. Firstly, you need to have either a decent PC or a powerful console like the Xbox Series X or PS5. So if you're on last-gen hardware, sadly this method won't be as good due to longer load times. Secondly, if you made it past round 32 on solo for the Dead Ops or K3 mode, then you will most likely not be able to use this method either, with a small caveat that I'll mention later. So what's this method? You'll want to play the solo advanced start mode for Dead Ops or K3. You could do this in either traditional top-down or first person, whatever you prefer. And make it to where round 29 is your advanced start checkpoint. So you can never make it past this arena on solo specifically, or else you'll mess up the desired checkpoint. Um, Rambo, small problem. I'm not good enough to even get to round 20. Skill issue. Keep playing and get better. Once your starting position is set to round 29, or the Hata Barina, you essentially are able to exploit that round for massive XP. As you receive 2600 XP for clearing that particular round, 1000 XP for completing an underboss battle, and an additional 1000 XP for killing the Giganese miniboss. And round 29 here is unique in the UA, as the round essentially ends as soon as you kill the miniboss. So in total, that's 4600 XP for about 30 seconds of very easy gameplay. Sometimes there's some straggler zombies after you lay this six arm fool to rest, so just make sure you save a nuke and drop it afterwards, which should finish the round. Unless there's a shadow boogie in the middle of stroking himself, in which case you're sadly gonna have to wait an extra few seconds for him to finish his animation. Whenever the round is cleared, just quit the game and restart, which is considerably faster to do on current gen platforms. Here's a chart showing load times for my PC, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One, from the moment I quit the match to whenever I load back into another advanced start session. Again, if you have an Xbox One or PS4, then I do not recommend this strategy. However, what I do highly suggest is that you pinch your nose, walk into a local GameStop, and pick up a modern console. In any case, when picking your fade here at the beginning, you should always choose the fade of firepower for increased damage, which is the stone with red gems seen here. During the round, be sure to use your nukes and speed boosts for added protection, as you'll have five total pieces of armory, and definitely utilize items like the max ammo, chicken, or shotgun if they spawn in, as drops like those will make the fight quicker too. Now, the fundamental flaw with this XP strategy, as alluded to earlier, is that if your advanced start position is after the hot tub arena, you're essentially chalked. Currently, there is not a known way to reset your advanced start progress, apart from just playing on a different account altogether. But progress reset has been reported by users in the past, it's even happened to me on one of my accounts. My starting position was round 53 on this account over here. I would occasionally use it for getting gameplay on the lawnmower arena. One day I logged into the account and boom, I was back down to round one for advanced start. I thought it had something to do with changing my Activision ID or maybe something was switching between online and local. I don't know, I ended up testing some stuff out but unfortunately was never able to reproduce this progress reset. But if anyone in the comment section has any leads, please do share, and I could always update the description if anything comes to light in the future. In any case, with a 15 minute double XP token popped, I was able to get around 60,000 XP during nine matches in that 15 minute interval. Intentionally or not, double XP tokens on this game are a bit of what I like to call, how shall we say it, a scam? as the game ends up robbing you of XP. With a double XP token popped, you should be earning 9200 XP per match. And in my testing, I would earn that much for the first match or two, but once I kept playing, there was an XP drop off of sorts, where some matches I was in the 6000 to 8000 XP range. For those subsequent matches, I was unable to find an explanation for the XP discrepancy. Why was I earning 6800 XP one match and 8400 XP in another? No, I don't know. I think it's kind of random. But at one point, I did take a break for a few minutes, came back, and what do you know? I was back up to earning the intended 9200 XP during a match, which, as anticipated, promptly fell off in the following matches. 
Figuring out this baloney is a bit above my pay grade, and perhaps this is something that's been happening in the COD franchise before the dawn of time. But I believe there's some XP throttling that occurs whenever you have a double XP token popped, combined with earning massive amounts of XP within a short period of time. I've done some tests in the wild area of the UA, it can happen there as well, and it probably happens in multiplayer and zombies too. Nonetheless, even with this XP robbery, or if you don't have any tokens at all, you still get fantastic XP from this advanced start method. To wrap things up here, if you are not able to use this XP strategy for one reason or another, I would recommend checking out this older video of mine where I show how to maximize XP in the wild area of DUA3, which is a lot more effort compared to this method, but it gives you hella XP as well, and is available for everyone to use. In any case, drop a like if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching.